Imagine if those people that build the Vatican had this kind of attitude. <laughs> <laughs> they actually did it. <laughs> I don't feel better than I'm like that. Yeah, yeah. So I better take this away, otherwise I'll get mistaken. Look <laughs> 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 at nice lady. <laughs> so if you have a film, you want to have a film set in important passages, right? Yeah. Mm. Well, first thing, this moves, right? First thing, are you ready? Yeah. You started already? Yeah, yeah, just... Okay, you have to beat it. Right in the center. If you keep your hands here and you and you feel this place, even with, with close eye, if you do it in the center, okay? Mm. That's the first thing that you do when you learn. Okay? So this is basically center as a mass, right? Then the next thing you do, you make you squeeze this well down there on the wheel and as much center as possible, right? Position of your hand, but you can see the more I'm over, the, the easiest to close. If I, if I do this, it's bloody hard, right? Mm -hmm. I'm over, it's, I close. So I go over. This is terrible, Craig. Down. My God, this is really bad. What do you get this great on? There's nothing I can do with this. Anyway, this is the way I, I do it. There are many, many uh, well, variations. But if I go down and the, and the base is center, then the mass starts in center. I cannot pull this up with the base not center. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So, no mushroom, of course. I have some pressure in just to make the whole thing grow. I'll do it with one hand so you can see what I mean. See there? Mm. It's growing, it's not, it's not overlapping. You do that two or three times, then if you're learning, what I teach is to use your body as kind of mattress. If you can still find your hip bone, you're lucky. In front of your hip bone, sitting straight and pushing the hip a fraction, right? Mm. Look, there, that's the position. I press down there a little bit and I push my hip forward a fraction and that is center. Look, with the base. Then the other thing, if you have to center, you don't want too large the base, right? Look, with one hand. All I do, you don't even see probably, look. I, I push my hip forward there. Did you see? Mm. Yes. A fraction. That's what, that's what does the work without any muscular efforts. Okay, then opening. There are many ways, but I, I teach this way first with both hands. You somehow find the center, and then that is easier to go down without making a mistake. So you have to be higher. Yeah. But I go down, I check the thickness there with, with the needle. You know how to do that, and then I go once I know the thickness, right? I go out. Okay? I go up, I open it so I can have easy access to the base. I get the base when made, squeezed larger than I want in the end because I want to squeeze that base there. I squeeze the base and I color the clay in. So, right? Yeah, what I do. Both hands touching, possibly, for stability. You must always look for stability. And you get stability even if you're touching with a little finger, right? Mm. As close as possible. And I lift the clay up a little bit to the base so I can get this grip that you've seen already, right? This is very important and it takes a long time to learn because the inside of these fingers are not really sensitive. We never use them. But this is miraculous, right? This is, you see how good it is, mm. right? So, 
Sami France, almost, almost horizontal. The other thumb over and this coloring. This control to the enter, this also a little bit, but this control the clay. This control the clay. The clay has to be right there. Right? Mm. That, that doesn't make any sense. This has to be right there. And this is such a good position. Why? Because this is very, very strong part of your hand. It's strong, it has bones, it can be open up to a point, you can easily squeeze it, right? It's very strong. Mm. And there is only a little uh, skin there over the bone, right? You don't have it. So it's not a sponge, it's not a rubber kidney and all that stuff, which I don't believe is any good, right? So you have the strength and the softness at the same time, that's why it's so good. Well compressed, you shouldn't have to take anything off to the top, really, if you know how to use, if you have a good basic technique. <coughs> then, this is always in a cone shape, right? When you're pulling up. Now I say, okay, I get ready for the first pull. The base is larger, I go underneath there, and I put I prepare what is called the sitting for this, there. Thumb always out to control the clay there, to know where you are. To, not to use the thumb is like a... I don't know. I mean, it's simply mad for me, right? It gives you so much more information. Mm. You found that out, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, then you must, if you do properly, you see that ring, the sitting which comes up. Come to the top, you stop with the inside, and with, with the outside you just go over. You see that? Mm. Perfectly centered. If it isn't, you go back there, you close it, you control it, and then you take it out again. There is no way you should let this clay out to the center look, right? You have to look always well tucked here. Completely under control, right? And, and, and strong. Yeah.